Well, thank you for coming. Appreciate you being here for uh, opening in 2014. Um, obviously, uh, I said it numerous times, I think our guys have done an outstanding job in, in the off season preparing. I think fall camp has went pretty smooth, but relatively injury free. Um, got majority of the, the horses to the race. Um, I know there's, there's a lot of excitement in there uh, from the community and Hammond and alumni, uh, as, as well as the football team. And looking forward to really just to open this thing up and open up. I feel fortunate enough to be able to open it at home. And we've got the first two weeks here at home, obviously, at Strawberry Stadium. So that's, that's huge. I think that's a, I think we have a very friendly uh, uh, schedule, fan-friendly schedule here for 2014. We've got six at home and then uh, six on the road, but two on the road are Tulane and, and Nichols, which is basically be like a home game for our fans. So we're very excited about the schedule we have leading up into this thing. And uh, I know our players are tired of hitting each other and they're looking forward to, to getting an opponent in here and getting a chance to get back in Strawberry Stadium and fans get in front of them and just an electrifying atmosphere and, and a great uh, Saturday for college football. So uh, like I said, our guys have, have done a great job up to now and, and they're working hard. And uh, I don't, going into the game, I don't expect us to play perfect. Uh, I don't, I, you know, obviously it's, we're gonna have some first game mistakes and things like that, but I think we're gonna, uh, I think we'll play well, and I'm looking forward to just going out there and, and setting the bar for 2014 and how well can we actually play. So, uh, I'll open it up for questions. Did you have any other type of scrimmage uh, situation until after the main scrimmage yet on that side? Uh, no, we haven't had a full-blown scrimmage no tackling, so we have not done that. So did you feel like you, you missed that earlier scrimmage with the weather? Um, yeah, I mean, I think you know we did we spread out. We did we do a lot of team every day and competing and good on good. And uh, we really felt at the time we were getting the looks that we need to see. And and uh, you know everybody, you know, we, we felt like we were heading in the right direction. We were on on course and on on pace to to get what we wanted to get done. Got any questions, Todd? Okay. When did you start putting in Jacksonville kind of installation stuff? Uh, last week or just something nah, just kind of we really started with Sunday. Uh, last week we looked at some special teams, just because obviously you know just had to look at some other things that other people were doing. So um, we started looking at their special teams last week, and then obviously we waited till uh, uh, yesterday uh, to uh, or um, Sunday to uh, uh, take a look at Jacksonville's offense and defense. Yeah. You know, you're not going to know a whole lot about what they're going to do and all that, but the yeah. offense has kind of been running and you yeah. come back and you talk about them and what, what, what they like to do, what they're trying to accomplish. Yeah, they, they're going to do some multiple personnel groupings. So you're going to see four wides and they'll bring a the tight end in, they'll bring two backs in. Uh, they're going to do some multiple things there. Uh, they got a real athletic quarterback. He's coach's son. He's a very savvy player. He's probably, you know, with a, best player they got you know uh, does hurts a lot of people with his feet and scrambling and creating plays and getting out of the pocket and making things happen um, they've got a couple good running backs and receivers I think they got three senior re receivers so they are they're a veteran group on the offense side of the ball um, and uh, you're gonna see I think he threw for 3,000 yards last year uh, you know he's a good quarterback I expect him to spread it out and try to throw throw the ball around a little bit they look fairly balanced yeah they've got they got two running backs that play quite a bit and they're both pretty good running backs. So, and they got a big offense. They got a big physical offensive line. They're big. They're going to be a six-five, six-six at tackles, and three, you know, whatever, three hundred pounds. And they're basically about 290, 280 inside. And, uh, and they're coming back. You know, a lot of them are, are back. So I think it's a pretty veteran group on offense. We could have a pretty good idea, obviously, going into game one, what we're going to think we'll see on offense. You never know. Obviously, there's, there's wrinkles people work on. There's things people do in, in the off season, fall camp. So uh, I think in game one, you always you got to be ready to to adjust quick. Are you happy with where your defense is right now? Yeah, I mean I'm happy where they're at right now. I want to see you know obviously uh, uh, you know how they're going to handle this. You know I think the old the told tales really is, you know what they're going to do on on Saturday on game day. Uh, I think they played very solid throughout the uh, fall camp and spring practice. I think we've had really good defense against the run game. Um, I think we're a little better, uh, 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 you know, alignment assignment-wise, right now than we were last year. Um, 
And just, you know, we have a veteran group and, and we expect them to act like it. And uh, we got a lot of guys in there that played and played a lot of snaps. So, um, you know, I think we got about 19 or 20 guys that played last year on defense side of the ball back. And I'm talking about got significant snaps and playing time. So, um, feel pretty good about it. And I think we, and I think we added some guys to the mix that made us more talented. So I think we have a better defense right now than we were last year. But again, you got to show it on Saturday. You, you kind of pushed those guys in the last you know, few practices that we've seen. Is, is that might be a function of what you think they can be and, and they're, they're not there yet and they don't realize that they're not there yet? Yeah. I mean, a lot of it is you, you have visions, you know, and I know I think I think this group's got, a, a, you know, a special chance to be a special defense. I mean, I think they can. I think they can be, a, you know, tops in the country, a defensive group. And, uh, you know, they got to do the things that are going to separate them from the rest of the pack. You know, and the things we talked to, you know, obviously stress a lot, but it is alignment, assignment, and making consistency on every, every down coming out, stripping the football, taking shots at the football, um, being a great tackling unit. And above all the things we try to stress is trying to get 11 hats to that football and have you know, a, a great pursuit team. Not good, but great. So. I guess what stands out is that the personnel is going to be different than last year with averaging 42 points a game. Yeah. You've got to be looking at that. Uh, yeah. I don't know how you look at that and, and what they're doing to kind of make those things happen. Yeah, they've, uh, uh, you know, they, they've been successful in offense. They, they put a bunch of points on the board. You know, again, they've got talent. They've got talent all the skill positions. Um, you know, they got guys who go up and get the ball. Uh, you know, he's thrown in. The, you know, you see him last year. You know, uh, the, the, some of, when he did throw in the coverage, the receivers bailed him out and went up and got the ball. Um, so that, that's some things we got to look forward. I know they're going to try some things if they got some time. They're going to probably try some double cuts and you know, and try to get some double moves on some receivers and try to hit us with big shots. And we got to be prepared for that. And then, like I think, the biggest key is going to be able to is you know, stop and run, but keeping him in the pocket when he goes to throw it and not let him scramble for first downs. I guess I have a little question, a little dice here looking at their defense and trying to get a read on that bunch. Yeah, uh, you don't, I mean, you just, you, they made the change over, you know, from a, a 4 2 5 or a 4, or even, most of the even front team to a, uh, to a 3 4 team. So, um, but there's all kinds of different styles of that. Are you going to, are you going to blitz pressure? What are you going to do? I don't know. You know what I mean? What, what are you going to do out of the three, four? Are you going to sit back and play quarters? I don't, you know, we don't know what to really, we're going to expect. So, you know, we'll, like I said, we'll, I think we'll be, I mean, I don't, it's nothing. I don't think anything they're going to throw us stuff we haven't seen. Uh, the good, good part of it is we're an odd front team and they, we see it every day in practice. So our guys are pretty adept to, I think, handling that. And we bring a lot of pressure. So with that part of it, so. If it's, uh, you know, I, th I, th I think we'll be able to make the adjustments. But it's real hard to come up with a game plan when you don't know, really know what you're going to get. You never know how this, you know, when you schedule this, this type of opponent. Is this a, a pretty good ultra for you to find out where your team you know, stacks up pretty early just because they're going to push you on defense? Well, I think so. I think they're going to give some different looks. I think they're going to give some different things to do. And, and obviously a, a, a talented quarterback, and, and that's always, uh, uh, you know, it's great to see and evaluate where you're at. Uh, I'm more support important. I, I think it's great for our fan base really to open at home and you know, and open 2014. We've got a lot of expectations, but you want you also you want to be able to open up in front of your fans and, and get the excitement of 2014 going. And uh, you know, whatever they do, it's really just, it really game one and early on. It's it's always about you know really how well you handle your business and do you you know it's, it's the blown coverages and the missed assignments and guys and not gaps and those things that are going to kill you uh, early in the season. Just making mistakes, and so we've got to have make sure eliminating you know unforced errors that uh, um, I think we've done a good job in fall camp of. Do you have to get your kids' attention on defense that if you're not careful, this, this could be a score fest? Uh, no, I mean, I think that's the way to handle everything. I mean, that's just the way we, you know, on down and down base. I mean, every down, you know, uh, our guys have expectations and they know what they want. Uh, and, you know, our goals are set to just try to be one of the best defenses in this conference and in the country. And if you're going to do that, then you got to welcome opportunities for people to challenge you. Well, I, I think it's. I mean, I, I think it's huge. I mean, just because there's the excitement level is so high in the community, you know, alumni. Uh, you know, 
uh, that uh, you, know, you you want to be able to start this thing off right. You want to be able to start it off with a bang in Strawberry Stadium, and you know I can't say the, the environment you create in that place it makes it tough, you know, down the road for people to come in here and play, and, and that's what you want to get it started early and. And uh, you know our guys feed off that energy and that excitement. So the more the, the better environment we can create in there, and the better things that we can that we can make it have a, for a great 2014, it's just going to help us down the road. Yeah. We're really healthy. We're really we're really healthy. I mean, we've had we got a couple guys that are coming back from hamstrings and growings, things like this. Those typical things you got. They're not you know. But we've rested the majority of them up, and uh, I mean, we're coming out this week, the majority of everybody should be able to go. Um, there's only probably a couple question marks, and it's not like they're out. It's a question whether, you know, they're going to practice today, and we'll see how they are. So uh, I feel we're really, I mean, I think we're really healthy right now coming to game one. How, how did Cochran come back? He has not. He's not come back yet. So it's going to be, he's going to be probably a four or five week process. Yeah. What was the fight with his foot? No, he uh, he had a bulge disc in his in his back, so yeah. yeah. Any freshmen um, that have emerged that they get you? I mean, I'm too deep with the playing roles. Um, well, we got some redshirt freshmen that will. You know, I don't know, any true freshmen. Uh, no. Mm -mm. We don't have any true freshmen. We'll have some redshirt freshmen come in there. Uh, Defensively, Ryan Seegers at corner. Redshirt last year, kid out of Katie. Uh, Courtney Rutledge, corner out of Slidell. Redshirt last year. Um, they'll see some playing time. Um, um, you know, uh, I'm trying to think, but yeah, we'll have a couple in there. Coach, you shuffled back a little bit on the offensive line. You talk about the moves you made there. Yeah, um, you know, obviously he's probably going to go. I mean, he may go back inside. We're just going to we're going to play that by ear. Um, what was it? Aaron Reed pulled a hamstring, so DJ moved to left tackle because Aaron Reed was out last week. Uh, we expect Aaron's supposed to practice today. Uh, we'll just find out how healthy he really is. If he's not 100 percent, then you know, DJ will start or you know, be the guy there. So we think we got you know. We've got uh, we got multiple guys up up front that have started football. You know, we've got six guys that have started football games here on the offensive line. You know, already there's six that have started. So I feel like we we're fortunate enough. We've got a veteran group up there, uh, and uh, I think we got some guys that are you know that are ready to do that. Uh, we just moved him over actually in some drills to see him on the right, and he was a better player over there. So. <laughs> He seemed more comfortable and more, you know, more at home on that side, and just he was more comfortable in pass protection and everything on that side. So we just we left him over there. Is yeah. Aaron more healthy, he would start. Oh yeah, he would start. Yep. So and I think he'll be fine by Saturday. It's just a question of how many reps does he get this week? Is he really ready? Is he you know, is he the best one to go out the first series or not? I don't know. But he'll he more likely he's gonna he's gonna play and play quite a bit. Uh, I don't know if he'll start or not, but he, he'll be in the game and play. Yeah, uh, they're both gonna they're both gonna play. They're gonna split time. That's a given. That's yeah, a given. they're gonna split time at that position. Denzel's played quite a bit. He started multiple games for us. He's a good, very good player for us. Uh, and uh, uh, Derek just had a really good fall camp, you know. And and uh, I think uh, uh, you know his man coverage ability, his ability to do those things. He he, he brings something to the table there. He's he's play. He started to gain some confidence in himself in that position. And uh, I think he's gotten better every week we've been out here. Uh, and he's, you know, so I'm looking forward to him hopefully having a, a, a good opener. You guys picked up Dylan Bowser, I think, last week. Mm -hmm. How's he how looking? How's he trying to get integrated? Looks fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, um, you know, he, he's, he's got good hands and runs really well. Uh, you know, uh, he'll play Saturday. You know, we'll kind of obviously couldn't throw the whole book at him. 
make sure to learn the whole offense so he's going to be able to play situational and, and play his, his set of plays that he has that he, we feel comfortable with him to, to learn and execute you know, this week. And then obviously every week his role is going to hopefully increase as his playbook increases. Yep, and he's a good player, and we, you know, he, we're excited about him being here. He's a good, good, good kid, um, and he's done really well since he's been here. And we, I think, he's really uh, the team has opened their arms up to him, so we're excited about it. You had receivers mm -hmm. coming out of your ears, and this guy's been here a week, and he steps in two feet. Yep, he's pretty good. We should tell us yeah, he's he's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a good player, and you know, again, we still we 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 got probably about ten receivers that are playing in ball game Saturday. Um, you know, so they're all going to have their own little package and things they get in there, and then find out you know again how well they do, and some will increase their roles, and you know, I think we're still in a competition phase. I mean, we're still at a phase so now. We got to find out who's going to do it the best on Saturday, and that's really to take all, all season long. We got twelve games of this thing. Guys' roles will increase, some will decrease, you know. Got to get it done on Saturday.